if I'm in my room all the time, I sort of start to feel like that's the only room in the world. And it's like when I go outside, I realise there's other people, there's other things going on. It's been pretty bittersweet. Like, I started off the year hoping to go to America and travel around Europe to meet my best friend for my 18th. And unfortunately, I was hospitalised 10 days before my 18th birthday and obviously with COVID, we weren't allowed to travel internationally. So I just, yeah, it's been really lonely not being able to see friends and obviously not being able to do things that I wanted to do. A lot of online therapy and groups have helped a lot. Like just even sitting up out of bed to get my laptop out, like talk to friends or even just going to therapy online has helped a lot. I think mainly distraction tools uh, have been a must for me. If I'm feeling sad or down or angry, just sitting in the shower with some music playing in the background has been a really great tool for me. Also, just like if I'm feeling up to it, going for a walk, even if it's just for like five minutes, um, that five minutes, like getting through it is the biggest part of your mental health journey, I think. Uh, that there are always people willing to help in big or small ways. Sometimes it's okay to just exist. Just existing is fine, but don't let your depression tell you that you aren't worthy of being helped. Everyone is. Every person deserves to feel every good emotion there is. You deserve to know what people talk about when they talk about happiness. I think it's really important to let people love you, especially when you can't love yourself. If you or someone you know needs support to recover from mental ill health, call Mind Connect 1300 286 463 or the Carer Helpline 1300 554 660.